I actually want to start with central banks and the Fed. Bank of England making a decision today, the Fed yesterday. Uh, Lara, uh, the one person who didn't want to talk about trade wars was Jay Powell. Is there anything uh, in all of this that's going to affect the economy enough that the central bank of the United States or the ECB or the Bank of England will have to worry about it? So uh, I don't think we see an economic impact in the short term from these really explosive trade headlines and negative trade headlines. I think what becomes really important here is the feedback loop. Traditionally, in the last several years, we've seen the Fed be hypersensitive to market volatility. In 2015, they wanted to raise rates, but they backed off the minute the markets had some uh, pretty hefty gyrations. Now they seem like they're more set on their course. They, you know, have in their forward projections, they're more confident in their ability to raise rates. You know, by 2020, they're actually talking about overshooting the neutral rate. So they seem really uh, fixated on being more proactive. And I think they're going to be more tolerant of market volatility. And I think that is why we all need to be really paying attention to sort of where we are in the business cycle. This late stage of the business cycle is historically fraught with much higher volatility. Well, Abraham, uh, speaking of volatility, we're looking at futures that are lower across the board in the U.S., European stocks lower, bonds are up with yields down. Uh, is the trade war possibility something that investors should be concerned about? It, it, or, or the amounts we're talking about, $50 billion sounds like a lot of money, but is it uh, in the context of a $17 trillion U.S. economy not that big a deal? Well, I, I uh, entirely agree with Lara. I think uh, for, for now, uh, the prospect of a $15 uh, billion dollar penalty, if you like, in, in, a, in a potential standoff between the U.S. and China, that might be an outcome that markets might find relatively easy to deal with. Uh, at the same time, I think we are dealing with some nervousness around this topic, and, and I think that's for a variety of reasons, including that markets don't usually have to think about these things, they don't understand dynamics in these trade relationships very well, and because I think that U.S. action is really just the first step. I think the, the key question is going to be, how does China react to what we may be learning today, and how, <clears throat> how, what kind of a reaction will that in turn have on the U.S. and other economies? Uh, I think. Uh, Inevitably, we are going to run into a day or a couple of days of volatility around these announcements. But my suspicion is if we get uh, the confirmation of what we, what we heard about uh, over the last day or so, I think that's something that won't keep us occupied for too much 